Escapade is a low-cost, dual spacecraft science mission to study Mars's hybrid magnetosphere. It's funded by NASA, the science is led by the University of California, Berkeley, and the spacecraft bus is provided by Rocket Lab. The bus is basically what takes the science instrument from Earth to Mars, and it's what keeps the satellite alive. The more we learn about other planets in our solar system, the more we also learn about our own planet and its past and maybe its future as well. You know, this mission to Escapade and going to Mars is helping us understand its magnetosphere. But not only that, with a platform like this, it can be adapted to do many different missions, and each of those missions may have their own way of improving life here on Earth. So Escapade represents basically doing science at a order of magnitude lower than previous. You know, we're doing it for, you know, less than 80 million for spacecraft and launch, which is huge. One of the ways we made these spacecraft at the price point we did was by developing them over about three years instead of the typical 10. So today we uh, brought our spacecraft in from the truck into our integration facility here, and we've been moving our spacecraft onto their rotation fixtures and setting up our ground support equipment for the rest of our uh, testing campaign prior to launch. There's been a, a ton of work leading up to this. Uh, I've been working on this program for almost two years now. Definitely means a lot to be here and this close to launch. I think the team is amazing. There's been you know, a few ups and downs along the way and they just keep persevering. It's been a lot of hard work to get to this point, for sure. I mean, the biggest challenge here is that part of the NASA Simplex mission is that we have to be compatible with a lot of different launch vehicles. So actually trying to design for 12 different vehicles and then eventually getting down selected to New Glenn was actually quite difficult to envelope all those performances of uh, all the loads. So I got the design of the spacecraft to be fairly robust, which is great because it's uh, helping us get through on, the, on this rocket coming up. Escapade really fits well into Rocket Lab's overall mission to be an end-to-end -end space company. And it's a beautiful example of what we can do when we bring everything in-house. The Escapade propellant tanks, for example, they were developed in record time in less than half a year. Rocket Lab is an end-to-end -end company, so we're fully vertically integrated. We found a way to be able to parallelize the entire development and production of the spacecraft by making the tanks on their own timeline, and when they were ready, integrating them on the spacecraft. Honestly, it feels like a dream come true to be working on a Mars spacecraft. I'm touching hardware that I've had an impact in designing and building and testing that is going to another planet. I think to see it for real for the first time will just be kind of pretty surreal to begin with. We'll probably all be gathered here for the, the launch and um, yeah, we'll just be waiting for first contact. And I think once we get that, there'll be all systems go and, and from there it will just be from one milestone to another and it's just gonna be fun to be part of that journey. And my dream is that, uh, you know, planetary exploration also goes from billion dollar government programs down to um, something much more achievable that is within the budget of a university. And Escapade takes that first step. What it unlocks is additional deep space, high Delta V missions. Things like Mars telecommunication orbiters, asteroid rendezvous, mission to Venus, or even further. Mm -hmm.